What the hell? Why did this episode start that way? <laughs> but eventually we found out, okay? Eventually we found out and okay? One of the creepiest endings this anime had to offer. Yotsuya realizes he's he just killed real people. You remember the remember remember that uh, that guy he burned alive? Yep. Totoong tao yon. Congratulations Yotsuya. You are now a you're now a certified hero because you killed someone. Right? For me, he, for me, he shouldn't be um he shouldn't hold himself accountable. All right? They are villains. Okay? Death will death death will come to them sooner or later. All right? That's why but that's 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 just my opinion, all right? Overall, it is a really good episode. <laughs> One of the most bizarre this fall. Okay? That is my bold statement for this review. One of the most bizarre episodes this fall. And if you missed out on this one, then you're either a normie or a hype beast. This probably solidified 1 million lives as one of the best. <clears throat> if, not, uh, if not for the year, this season alone. Okay, this season, kahit this season lang, the, uh, well, the flow has been disrupted, okay lang, because the, the opening, the OP is part of uh, Yokitate's uh, Yoke hallucination. <laughs> Grabe mag-hallucinate pala, no? Walang niya, kinain yung buong OP ng anime. <laughs> so, the pacing, all good. And of course, the plot, well, it carried over from the previous episode. Yokitate was the only one who did not die. Kaya nila na kompleto quest. And who's that magic user? Who was she? I don't think that's an hallucination kasi mukhang solid eh. Nakawakan ni Yokitate ang kamay, kaya nga siya nakasakay eh. Alright? So, I'm standing on 1 Million Lives episode 11. Two thumbs up and a big toe. <laughs> Naulit ko rin. <laughs> Naulit ko rin. Two thumbs up and a big toe. Why? Because I got this feeling now that we are that we are one step closer to the finale. Alright? Because maganda yung tinanong ni Yokitate because she was granted that question because she was the one who completed the quest. Okay? She dealt the fight. She dealt the final blow to the quest. Kumbaga. So, she asked the question, Is this world virtual? The Game Master answered, Although in detail, Essentially, No. Kaya, Yung mga, yung mga nakasalamuhan nila mga tao rito, The creatures they killed, They are all real. And the four of them, They're the virtual characters. <laughs> They're the virtual characters. So, I'm standing on 1 Million Lives Episode 11. Two thumbs up. A bizarre, cringy type of two thumbs up. No teasers again. So, we got no choice but to... Uh, but to. All of us have no choice but to watch the finale next week. Okay. Tutuka na dapat. If you're new to this anime, I strongly suggest you binge watch the first 11 episodes before the finale gets aired. Um, uh, this Friday. Okay? Before the finale gets aired this Friday, I strongly suggest you binge watch the first 11 episodes of 1 Million Lives. Para magets mo kung ano man ang mangyayari sa finale. Alright? That's your assignment. That's your, that's your assignment, Maka Lifestyle. That's your assignment, Twitch. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 28. Now, I'm going to make this a very short one because this is just a... Uh, <clears throat> due to microphone issues, I had to repeat myself. Training camp... Rush Duel Tournament 
and a pro and probably new enemy. All right. But the highlight of this episode, the rush duel between Sushiko and Romin. All right. Probably one of the uh, probably one of the funniest. Okay, I've I've, I've do one of the funniest duels I've ever seen. All right. Roman loses. Okay. Roman loses and everybody, well, everybody's happy. Everybody get everybody gets to bond. And everybody gets to eat. Alright. Overall, it's a it's a mighty good episode. Okay. You do a nagdala sa episode na to actually. Alright. And it's uh, I feel the episode may, uh, gave me that feeling that this is the start of a major arc in uh, in Sevens. It's probably the first major arc of this anime. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode 28, two thumbs up, right? Like I said a while ago, this is probably the start of a major arc. Okay, probably the start of a major arc. Let me give you a let me give, let me give you samples of, a ma of what a major arc uh, feels like. The Duelist Kingdom arc of uh, Duel Monsters, that's a classic, okay? The, uh, the Dark Signers arc from 5Ds, that's a classic. The, um, the Synchro Dimension arc of Arc 5, it took, it took nearly the entire Season 2 for that arc. It's a good one, okay? It's probably the longest arc, of, it's probably the franchise's longest arc because it nearly took an entire season, right? Those are examples of, uh, of, of major arcs. So this episode is probably the launch pad of, uh, well, probably, uh, yeah, probably a major arc. The first major arc of this show. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 28. Two thumbs up. A um, sushi-loving kind of two thumbs up. All right. So let's just wait for the next episode. And... I cannot wait what uh, what this girl's intentions are. Nah, I don't want I don't want to I don't want to give any conspiracy theories right now. Let's just watch the next episode, all right? Let's just watch let's just wait till next week. King's Raid episode 11. They were able to um to meet the orcs, okay? Cleo's mischief got her into trouble again, but nonetheless, well, Castle accepts the challenge. If this is to prove to not to not just to the orcs but to everybody that he is the rightful heir to the holy sword, he must accept it, and he did. Overall, it's a good episode, okay? It's a good episode because, well. On the political side, okay, politically speaking, it's a good episode. I say, well, Castle had to prove in Castle for the first time, all right? I think for the very first time, he has to prove he is the heir. Okay, so, malaking challenge to para kay Castle. Okay? He is the son of King Khan and he must prove that. If he wants to... If he wants to get rid, get rid of the second seal. Kasi, may isang seal nang tinanggal eh. So, dalawa pa. Alright. Overall, again, it's a good, it's a good episode. Okay. Yung flow, the pace, and what? Well, a little bit of humor. Good mix. Okay. Good mix. So, King's Raid, episode 11. Why not? Two thumbs up. Alright. Bakit? Kasi, I feel this is, a, this is a pivotal episode in this anime. Pivotal ang, epo ang episode na to. Because, well, Castle will be, will be undergoing a trial by fire for the very first time. Alright? The stage is now set. And this episode set that stage. Kaya, tinu thumbs up ko to. Now, if you're, if you're just going to, um, Put together an episode that says, oh, this year, yeah, that, this year, this year, this year. Then all of a sudden, it's the challenge. <sighs> Parang, 
Nakakawalang ganang panoorin. But this one, it's a good setup. Okay? It's a good setup. So, King's Great Episode 11, two thumbs up. Okay? A fair and just two thumbs up. Next episode has been teasered. Ano kayang test yun? Okay? Ano kayang test yun? That will, that, that will finally um, prove to everyone that he is the heir. Siya talaga ang anak ni King Kyle. Yashahime Episode 11 They fought two demons in one fight Okay? Grabe And, well, and the twins found out their weaknesses So In In a snap Nahuli nila yung they knew, they knew what They knew how to take these demons out Eventually, yeah, they won And Kasi Siguro naawa rin sila doon sa dalawang bata because the kids' parents, uh, they, were, they were both killed by these two demons in the pond. So, yun, um, Setsuna realized uh, what, how, um, what their mission is worth. Nakita, she saw uh, the, the, uh, the damage uh, biwa dun sa, dun sa ilalim ng pond. Kasi ang ginawa kasi ng yung pinaka-water demon, Hinigup natin ang tubig sa pan, ginawa niyang, ginawa niyang katawan niya. Alright. Overall, yeah. yeah. It's a really good episode. Okay. It's a really good episode. Bakit? Kasi, um, for once, uh, you, you can call, you can call this a mission of mercy for, um, for our, um, for our, uh, for our lead characters. Kasi, noong una, hindi nila, di nila sinirioso eh. Because, it's because of, um, uh, Moro has claimed that the pawn ate that, the pawn ate the bird. Uh, they didn't take it seriously until they met these two kids. Yun nga, nako, seryoso to. So, they, the twins agreed that this is, this should be, they should treat this as a mission of mercy. Kumaga, parang, Ipag, sila nang magiganti do sa mga uh, sila nang magiganti do sa dalawang demonyo yun on behalf of on behalf of the, uh, on behalf of these kids um, so that they were able to they were able to beat it and um, isang patch of medicinal herbs ang kinailangan nila para para lang talunin yung yung water demon okay. si um, I forgot the name eh. masa mami ay check ko <laughs> Okay, check ulit. So, Yashahime episode 11. Hmm. Two thumbs up. Okay. A decent two thumbs up. Kasi, well, the battle scene is, um, you can call this a, um, the demons <clears throat> have the advantage. Um, three to two. Okay. Three to two kasi, Pinagsama ang lakas sila eh. Eh, si, si Setsuna at si Towa kasi nagkaka, uh, nakakapapa sila as to how they're going to how they're going to fight as a team. Much less siblings. Okay? They were able to compensate for that by knowing each other's weakness. Nagets nila. In a, in a snap, nagets nila kagad on what to do. Alright? So, kumbaga, their teamwork is slowly slowly being polished. Okay, they're be, slowly being being polished. At saka, may funny moments. <laughs> Ito si Moro ha, nag-cyclone burst si Setsuna, directed towards the patch of medicinal herbs. Now, where is, where, where, where is she exact? Which is exactly where she is. Hindi umil. Hindi niya, hindi siya umalis. Gaga. Oh, yun, nadala siya. <laughs> nadala siya na cyclone burst tuloy. And, Funny moment. <laughs> that was a funny moment. Okay? So again, Yashahime episode 11. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up. Uy, maganda next episode. 
it reminded me of that episode where Inuyasha's hair went all black. Naging, naging jet black yung buhok ni Inuyasha. I forgot, I forgot how that, how, how that went about eh. Pero there was an episode in the original series where Inuyasha himself uh, yung buong niya naging itim din. Alright? So, we better watch out for that episode. We better watch out for that episode. Warlords of Seeker Drifa Episode 10 Now, um, instead of strategizing like Azu does, um, the rest of Tateyama decided to hold a summer festival. Well, nothing wrong with that, but Azu was against it, but eventually, she gave in. She needed a break after all. Final scene, they commemorated the, um, they commemorated those who gave up their lives in the previous attack. Okay. And the, pre- the previous offensive, yung talagang halos lalimas yung buong base and uh, maraming civilians na namatay. All because of, uh, of Odin's bullshit. Okay? That uh, he just couldn't, he just couldn't uh, take the loss by the, by, by the first Ragnarok. Alright? Yep, you heard me. He wants to repeat Ragnarok. The Ragnarok... Uh, the Ragnarok that has been foretold has already been has already been over and done with. The gods lost that time. Okay. Odin and his gods lost. Pero, well, hindi niya matanggap yung pagkatalo. So, he repeats Ragnarok okay, at the human race's expense. Diabolical. Alright? Overall, from a um, from a slice of li- from a slice of life standpoint, it's a good episode. Hey, hey, this is not my rating yet. Okay? <laughs> Wait for my rating. But, I think the animators could have done more. Coming from, uh, coming from a heinous attack like that, emotion, emotions should pour out. Right? But, I'm, I'm not, but I am not saying that, uh, that this is a bad episode. It's a really good one. Okay? It's a really good one. The animators, uh, the producers could have could have done more, could have done something more, a little bit more, because the character, the lead characters are coming off, um, coming off retaking Tateyama base, okay, and they found out Odin's real intentions. No, in infiltrate nila ang Valhalla. They were able to infiltrate Valhalla in episode, yeah, um, episodes eight and nine, okay. They were able to do that. And they, they found out what Odin's grand plan is. Okay? He's been toying with the human race ever since he first appeared. He's been toying with us for the past five years or, or so. I gotta hand it to the producers. They know how to do these uh, slice of life episodes for an action series. Okay? For an action for an action near apocalypse series. Okay? But they could have they could have done more, right? They could have done more. Kumaga, good job, pero konti pa. Parang ganon. So, World of the Secret Trifa episode 10 confirmed. One thumb up. Secret Trifa is uh, it's a really but I gotta hand it to Secret Trifa. It's a really good mix of action, loliconisms. <laughs> And well, slice of life, right? Parang kiron looks like they took they took pointers from from famous slice of life animes like K on, um, Your Lion April. I, I I see shades of Lord. I saw shades of Your Lion April in this anime so far. Okay, and of course the four uh, the four lead pro tags. Yep. Four is also the number of lead protags in, in K on season one. All right, K on season one they only started up four. They eventually became five. So far, it's a really good anime. Okay, we're now down to its final two episodes, starting next week. All right, starting next week. 
So by the end of by the end of the year, okay? By the end of this month, Siguro Trifo will end. Kumbaga, I, yeah, they have a good chance of ending the fall anime season on, uh, right on the money. Right? So, 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 final week ng December, tapos na to. So, again, Warlords of Secret Trifa episode 10, on the map. Giving it a lower rating na, it won't do justice to the slice of life element of this episode. Eh. So, Next episode has been teasered. Ooh, bak baka na. Ilang masasabi ko. <laughs> no spoilers, All right? No spoilers. Jujutsu Kaisen episode eleven. So well, basically, Junpei and Junpei and Itadori become friends. At uh, mukhang barkada na, barkada na rin ni Itadori yung nani ni Junpei. Only, uh, only, to, only to face each other in, in a school where, where Junpei is being bullied. Bakit? Kasi, ito namang, ito namang si Junpei, may na, nakakita siya ng, ng curse finger ni Suko na. Right? Naka-track doon isang curse spirit, pinatay nanay niya. Now, unbeknownst to Junpei, he gives it to, to Mahito, yung nakalaban ni... Sorry to? Uh, nakalaban ni Shades Guy. Alright? Doon niya binigay yung daliri ni, ni Suko na. So, why, did, why did you give that to that guy? Nakuha ngayon ang kalaban. Alright? So, final scene. Junpei and Itadori are about to face off. This will probably be... Excuse me. This will probably be um, Itadori's first test post post Sukona syndrome. All right. Overall, yeah, you can say it's a, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. Magandang setup, <clears throat> the pace, the flow, leading to uh, leading to the setup for the fight between between Junpei and Itadori. All right. It led to that. So, um, but I don't know, pero, bitin eh. Alright? Na, I'm not saying na, uh, talagang, talagang bitin kasi talagang binitin yung episode eh. But, <clears throat> on how, um, on how Junpei's mother died, uh, sana pinakita yun eh. Sana pinakita yun. But, Nonetheless, it's still a good episode. Okay? On the lighter side of things, it's a good episode. So, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 11, one thumb up. Okay? I couldn't show you my hand, alright? I couldn't show you my left hand because talagang, you, only need, you only need to see this hand. Alright? Well, I also want to tell you uh, why. Why it's only one thumb up? Because the fight scene between uh, Shades guy, I, I forgot, and Mahito, um, bitin din yun. Eh. <laughs> Na bitin ako dun. All right. To think that um, I forgot his name. Okay, that Shades guy. Okay. Uh, it's so it's so work centered, all right. It's so obsessed with this work schedule that kabag sinabing overtime talaga overtime na sa kanya. You you stop work, you stop working talaga, all right. I don't know if that's a good mindset or not, but for me, uh, bitin talaga, <laughs> bitin talaga yung fight scene, eh. bitin talaga, all right. And of course, siyempre, isa pang bitin yung hindi na pinakita kung kung paano pinatay ng curse spirit na to yung nani ni nani ni Junpei which 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 did lead him to uh, a path of vengeance. Okay? So, yun nga eh. May dalawang bitin na may dalawang bitin na factors dito kaya I just gave it that. 
All right. So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 11. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, it's only right, left hand go. One thumb up. All right. One thumb up. So let's just let's just look forward to the next episode. It has been teasered. The fight will rage on. You know what's happening? So no spoilers, all right? No spoilers. More yard the Patreon episode ten. This is just a replay, so let's get it on. Sherlock Holmes did an unprecedented move, all right? He challenges Moriarty to a detective game. Minapate kasi do sa loob ng tren. And the only go... And there's one major complication. Watson is probably involved. May tama siya dito ng baril. All right? The victim was shot to death, eh. So, it's an automatic murder case. All right? So... Okay. Holmes want, really wants to pin this conspiracy on Moriarty. And he has very good reason. Nakita naman natin in the other episodes. Alright? Tama. O, sa, sa atin, tama suspecha niya. Okay? Overall, it's a really good episode. Alright. Whatever mind games is Mo- Moriarty is playing, it's, it's starting to take its effect on Holmes. Umpisa ng episode, medyo bothered siya sa sinabi ni, ni Jonathan Hope. Alright? Yung, yung pumatilo sa account na, in, na uh, where, where Moriarty set him up. Alright? Medyo, na, medyo nababother na siya sa sinabi ni Hope. Alright? Eh, it's taking effect, okay? Whatever, whatever mind games Moriarty is playing. So... They accidentally met on a train, right? And someone gets killed, right? So, hindi ba natin alam kung talagang si Moriarty may pakanan ito? But, I'm very sure, the reason why Holmes is, Holmes challenges Moriarty to this detective game, he wants to, he wants to know how Moriarty is going to, is going to figure this out, right? Gusto siya malaman kung anong discarte ang gagawin ni Moriarty rito. Wow! Okay? Lumalabas na rin ang pagkatuso ni Sherlock Holmes. Alright? That's why Holmes and Moriarty are... What you call this? Is considered one of the greatest rivalries in all of literature. Okay? Not just in comic, not just in comic books, not just in anime, but... In the history of literature, it's, con- it's considered one of the greatest rivalries ever. Uh, Holmes versus Moriarty. So, Moriarty the Patreon episode 10. Two thumbs up. Alright. A uh, somewhat mind-boggling two thumbs up. Because, tell you honestly, I don't know what Sherlock Holmes was thinking here when he challenged Moriarty to this detective game. Unahan sila sa pag-solve ng kaso to. Alright. Grabe. I-, I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking here. I do not know basically what he's thinking. So we'll just have to find out in the next episode. No wonder. This episode in, is entitled The Two Detectives. It's actually a mini arc. This is part one. Part two is the next episode. Kaya pala The Two Detectives ang tawag. Okay? Si, of course, si Sherlock and now Moriarty. Kasi hinamon niya si Moriarty sa larong ito. Okay? Wow, okay? And what a game it is. Someone <clears throat> someone just got shot to death. Watson is a suspect. Okay? Y- yun ang yun ang yun ang pinapalabas ng final scene eh. Kasi may tama siya rito. That automatically makes him a suspect. Okay? At wala siya dun sa, na, sa pinangyarihan. Wala siya dun. Tapos may tama siya rito ng bala. Saan ang galing yun? Okay? Watson is a suspect. At we've seen it in the episode na medyo nagkaroon siya nalang konting misunderstanding ni, uh, ni Sherlock. Alright? How unfortunate. But, for me, they gotta get their act together. Someone has just been murdered on the train. And Moriarty is also in the train. <laughs> Moriarty is also in the train. 
Sila nang uh, sila nang kapat, sila nang tunay niya kapatid. Sila nang tunay niya kapatid, si Louis. Grabe. <clears throat> so again, More Yard the Patriot episode 10. Two thumbs up. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 2. Oh, meeting, meeting. Then, uh... The old, si Reiner. Well, looks like he's hell-bent on coming back to the island. Alright? And he has the gall... Okay? He has the gall to tell everybody on the mainland that... Uh, that Paradise is an island full of devils. Alright? But he was the one who sold out. <laughs> okay. To think that he's a And he and he has uh, and he has the intestinal fortitude to to badmouth everyone who everyone he has considered he has uh, the way, pala, the way he was treated there. Okay, everyone and company treated him like family. It's not just a it's not just a superior. Right, and now, well, final scene. Tinitrain yung mga yung mga minimenton yung mga bata, and um, the well, they're now they're now planning to launch a final offensive on the island para makon nila yung founding titan. Okay, <clears throat> I think nobody has seen the founding titan before. Okay, nobody has seen it. Overall, yeah, it's a good episode, pero um, um, sort of a lull. There's sort of a lull between um, between characters from from Marley and well, they're probably showing the human side of uh, of this side of the coin, okay? the humanity of of the potential uh, enemies of Eren. All right? And to think this and to think this is already 4 years later. All right? But one thing one thing was for sure it's it's been confirmed in this episode. The previous <clears throat> big offensive from <clears throat> from season 3 yon. Yung Beast Titan si si Zeke talaga yon. Right, but <clears throat> no one, no one knows what his human form looks like. Okay, based on everything that's happened in season three, no one. I think nobody knows what what his human form looks like. Si Zeke, yung beast titan. But everybody knows that Reiner, that Reiner is the armored titan. Okay, so mga. Um, tinatae siya dun tinatae siya ngayon sa paradise so the moment he sets foot he sets foot back on the island probably well um, the survey the survey corps will get will get a fi- one final chance at killing him right so yeah it's a good episode but um, not too much on the human side okay this is the enemy so Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 2 I totally disagree with how um, how the enemy is being presented here Alright This is not just war Okay The um, the Eldians on uh, on the mainland uh, it's, it's totally sold on the idea that the Eldians pala yun, lahat sila. The Eldians on the island have abandoned them. Okay? Inabandoned na sila. But in reality, but in reality, pinaghuhuli mga yun at tinapon dun sa island. Okay? They have been lied to. The only shining factor in this episode is um, is that armband thing the Eldians have to wear when they go outside. It reminds me of the. It reminds me a lot of World War Two. How 
than how the Nazis treated the Jews. If you would look at the history books, and of course I've seen, I've seen personal photos from my grandfather, because he he is a World War II veteran, so he so he showed me newspaper clips of news from abroad, and of course he, he did he did fight in the war. Pinakita siya sa akin nun. Oh, ito, J, ito, JJ. Kasi yun talagang palayo sa akin ng pamilya ko eh. Ito, JJ. Oh, these are newspaper articles about, uh, yan. Ganon? Sabi ko, ganon? Sabi ko, ilalagyan sila ng armband para ma-identify na Jew sila. Okay? And up to now, okay? Surprisingly, people are still, some people are still saying the Holocaust did not happen. <laughs> There's forensic evidence that it did happen. Right? Yung paglalag yung pag-impose ng armband sa mga Jews, that's evidence enough. So this rem- so this part of the story now reminds me of that time in our history, that time in human history called World War II. How the Nazis treated the Jews okay? and they eventually they eventually massacred 6 million of them. Right? It's a that part made this episode really creepy, but um, enough of the human side of the enemy already, okay? This this is a war. Can we go to the action already? So again, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 2. Sorry, AOT fans. Well, Mapa has to do better this time. But, um, I think in the next episode, they, they will. All right. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see. Ikibukuro Westgate Park, episode 11. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, naset up si Makoto rito. <laughs> And he really wants and he really wants to know who did it. Okay? Si King na baril at siya pilang bibintangan. Okay? Tapos someone tried to someone tried to kill him with the kill him with the van na tamaan yung nanay niya. All right? So that's a double whammy now from Akoto. And a gang war has started because of um because of uh, what happened to King na siya pilang bibintangan. All right? Tami komplikasyon, right? <clears throat> so, I guess this is part one of part one of the finale. All right? It, it looks it looks like it, and nothing was teasered in the, in the in the last part of the episode. No, nothing. Pasa pinakita sa final scene. Pasa pinakita sa final scene. Makoto was running for was running for his life somewhere. So he's. Uh, it's a ra- basically it's a race against time for him para malaman kung sino talaga may gawa nito. All right? Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay? I can I cannot ask for more uh, when it comes to when it comes to finales, okay? I J- I WGP's finales. Wow, okay. If this ain't part 1, I don't know what is, best guru. Yeah, but but it looks like it, okay? The pace, the flow, all understandable because this is a, well, it feels like a two-part finale. Alright? Akala mo, medyo mabilis. Nope. The pace is just right. The flow, the plot, everything. Okay. It's a, it, it will easily, it will easily, it easily give you a hint that this is a two-part finale. So, Ikibukuro Westgate Park Episode 11. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up, Twitch. Wow. <laughs> Kung ito ang uh, magiging uh, pahapyaw ng anime na to for the finale next week, you guys better watch it. Okay? Now, in order for you to understand what uh, um, the bef- 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 before before this anime finishes okay you better you better watch the um, episodes 8 to 11 okay 
the last four episodes before this one, before the finale next week, para maintindihan ninyo kung saan ang pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng factors ng nangyari this episode. Alright? So, basically, someone out there hates Makoto for everything that he has, um, for every for everything that he has done, for everyone that he has helped, okay? even prevent even prevent a gang war twice. Okay? The Red Angels and the G-Boys, well, they owe it to him. Pero this time, talagang, ano eh, uh, it's beyond his control na. Nagsimula na ang gang war. All because of, of a set-up job against him. Ngayon, ngayon nga, gusto, gusto siyang patayin ng mga G-Boys eh. So, talagang akala nila na siya ang, siya talaga ang bumanil kicking eh. But it's, but it's actually a Red Angel. It's actually a Red Angel na mukhang, 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 tumira, mukhang tumira ng droga muna eh. Ba, bago pinat, bago binari si King eh. Alright? Now, I hope that King survives his uh, uh, survives the shooting. Kasi siya lang talaga magpapatunay na walang kinalaman si, Ma- si Makoto rito. Walang kinalaman. Talagang someone someone from the Red Angels shot him. Kasi kilala niya eh. Kilala na ni King eh. Nakik- nakikita niya sa Red Angels yun. So again, Ikibukuro Westgate Park Episode 11. Two thumbs up. Alright. Now before I end this review, I just want to say, okay, everybody says that Akodama Drive um, or Moriarty the Patriot are the dark horses or the dark horses of Fall 2020. Nope. Excuse me, I will stop you there, guys. I am going to stop you there. Ikibukuro Westgate Park is the real dark horse now. Clear na sa akin. Alright? It's now clear to me that IWGP is the real dark horse of Fall 2020. Noblesse Episode 11. Oh, as they say, the eagle has landed, right? But they took, but they took some stowaways with them, okay? Akala nila, <clears throat> akala ni Frankenstein, iniwan niya yung tatlong enhanced humans dun sa, sa bahay. Si M21, si, sino ba isa pa? Um, Ah, pasay dalawa. Okay, so kilala ko si, si M21 eh. Left them, he left them, he left all three of them behind. All right. Mismo kwa. So kasama na sila ngayon. And they now call themselves RK4. <laughs> Rizal's Knights. Tapos apat sila including Regis. Okay, so wala so wala matawe eh. pero <laughs> Rizal is being serious and sinabi nila yung sinabi niya yung gravity of the situation they're in. Sad news, they're about to put Gadgetel to sleep. Yung matandang noble na unang, hin- unang uh, hindi nagsabi na boy pa si Rizel. Right? He would be put to internal sleep. Then, uh, of course, nakakulo si, Re- si Sarah. Then, ayun, inutusan na ng Lord na patayin silang lahat. Right? Talagang pinatutumba na sila ng, ng current lord, ng current lord, yung babae. Alright? Overall, it's a really good episode, okay? It's a really good episode. Um, talking about homecomings, okay? I thought they're going to, um, they're going to be as secretive as possible, but, nope. They deliberately crashed their plane. Walang yan. Ang mahal kaya, no? Private plane yun. Looks like a Learjet. Pina, pinakrash lang nila para maput off yung security ng Luke doon. <laughs> eh, kaya naman nila eh. They can... All... Uh, one, two, three... Uh, all six of them can, can afford. They can't die. Okay? As if... As if mamamatay sila ng ganun-ganun lang sa plane crash. Nope. It would take more than a pay, play, pace, the flow, Eh, medyo, medyo bumagal ng flow, but understandable, okay? That's fine with me. I totally get the story. Right? I, I totally get the plot of the episode. 
Tapos yung, yung flow niya, oy, okay. There is a fight scene involving Regis and, uh, and the knights. Yung, yung talagang knights na tinatawag ng, ng mga noble. Kasi pina, <clears throat> nagsasearch pala sa area na yun eh. The place where uh, Rizal has his original mansion is now called the Forbidden Region. Alright? Ano yun? Uh, what you call this? It was declared the Forbidden Region by the previous Lord. Yung... Tawag dito? Yung... Kaibigan niya. Kaibigan niya. But... Uh, doon, sila, doon sila talaga pumunta eh, kasi nandun yung bahay niya eh. Alright? Nandun yung bahay niya eh. So, hindi alam. Hindi alam nila, hindi alam nila Rizal at Frankenstein na gano'n na pala ngayon. So, knights were sent out to to search the area. Ayun. Uh, they were fended off by, by, by Regis and the three the three enhanced humans. They're now called RK4. I don't know why um, I don't know why Tao calls themselves would call themselves RK4. Okay? They sound like a boy band. Although, although all you, um, you mix all four, of, you mix all four of them in one place. They, yeah, they do look like a boy band. <laughs> they do look like a boy band. All right, uh, but they don't fight like one. So, okay, now I remember the names. Tao, the um, the one with the mop top, and Takyo, you super long hair. Yo. Yung, yung sniper. Yung sniper yun. Now I remember their names. Kasi parang tiyong, parang tiyong umpis eh. So it's easy to remember now. Tao and Takio. Okay. Along with M21, they're the enhanced, they're the, uh, the modified humans. The enhanced humans. Right? So, Noblesse Episode 11. Two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. <clears throat> Why? Kasi, well, it is a really good setup episode. Okay? Now with, uh, now, now with, uh, Sarah escaping, somebody forgot to take her soul weapon! Kaya siya nakatakas! <laughs> okay? Somebody, somebody dropped the ball by not taking her soul weapon. By not confiscating your soul weapon. Ayun. Gago eh. So, I love the, I love the, um, I love the final scene. And, it's one hell of a setup episode. Ang ganda. Okay? Everybody's coming together just to, just to probably, um, help Rizal assume the throne. Because he is the noblesse. Alright? I think the previous Lord knows this, pero Rizal doesn't want any 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 kind any kind of that. Uh, to him, it's bullshit. Yung ganyan, yung uh, to be Lord, to govern, to govern Lucidonia, to be to have all this power. Can you blame him? He's already the most powerful noble in history. So, kaya niya siguro. Tama ko magagandang ang ganyan. Hmm? You get his mindset? Uh, oh, I get his mindset after 11 after 11 episodes. Yeah, I do get his mindset now. Hindi siya swapang. Right? His power is so OP. Okay? That pro- We're now down to the final two episodes of this anime. Okay? It's slated again, it's slated for 13 episodes. Okay? And I thought this I thought the next episode would be the finale. No. Uh, I quickly recalled uh, I quickly recall that Noblesse is 13 episodes. Okay. Noblesse has been slated for 13 episodes. So, we're now down to the final two episodes. I am so excited as what's going to happen. Gusto ko magkasago pa dito yung, yung Lord at si Rizel. After all, the current Lord wants him dead. Okay. Yung pala, ang assumption niya, inagawa na siya ng, inagawa na siya ng mana ni Rizel. But uh, you, you've seen in the episode, the, the previous Lord was just asking, right? Masyado ka naman sour graping. <laughs> Masyado naman sour graping yung babaeng yun.
Ako Dama Drive Episode 11. Wow, okay. Kaya pala tinawag na War Games. Okay. At I thought initially <clears throat> si Hacker ang si Hacker ang susunod din ng kalaban, but nope. He actually helped them out. Um release the release the release brother and sister from the clutches of Kanto. Wow, okay. If you've seen the episode, you now know what Kanto looks like, right? If you haven't seen it, watch the episode. As now, well, they were able to <clears throat> nabawi nila si the brother and sister and well, before they could ever get back to Kansai, ayun. Executioners blew up their blew up the Shinkansen along with them. Are they dead? Don't know yet. Pero may pa kana yung yung executioner na binulag ni Hoodlum. Yon, yun may yun yata ng utos. So wow, it was a hair-raising ending. And I cannot wait for the finale of this anime, all right? I cannot wait right now. Overall, it's a really good episode and I completely thought Hacker will be their next opponent. Nope. Tinulungan sa nila, tinulungan sila nito. And um, para hindi sila masama dun sa ginawang sacrificial lands for Kanto. Kumbaga medyo bin rainwash sila ng konti. Ayun, hindi sila dinamay ng ng Kanto. Okay. <clears throat> the pace, the flow, and how it started. Wow, mind-boggling. <laughs> mind-boggling. Grabe ang pagka mind-boggling ng simula ng episode. I thought, ano to? Recap? Ano to? Recap? Grabe. <clears throat> kahit, kahit ako, nakurta utak dun eh. Even my brain, even my brain got racked, in, got hacked in that episode. Yeah, in the start of that, from the start of that episode. Wow, okay. So, Akodama Drive, episode 11. Two thumbs up, okay. I got extra reasons why I gave it the two thumbs up. Kasi, um, for Hacker, to him, everything is just a game. All right? Siguro kaya ganito ang pagkakatitle ng episode na to. War games, right? Anybody still remember that movie entitled War Games, which starred a very young Matthew Broderick, right? The world's smartest computer na kawas ng copy sa isa sa isang floppy disk, floppy disk pa usun niya. Eh. He was able to program it for his own uses. Yung pala, um. I think there was a there was a provision in its source code na kapag tinamper ito, ibig sabihin start na World War 3. So nagkandara pa na mga supercomputer ng US government, okay. Deploy. Uh, deploy military here, deploy military there. Nagdeclare pa nga ng DEFCON pa na tinago pa presidente. <laughs> so eventually he uh, he was able to help the US government um Uh, rewrite the source code of the computer of the of the software he accidentally acquired. So, yun, yun, ang, yun ang story ng War Games. Halos ganito rin ang story ng episode na to. That's why it's called Hacker. He was able to hack the central computer of Kanto. So, kaya nabawi ni nabawi nila courier ordinary person yung magkapatid. Si brother at si sister. So, in the end, yeah, We sort of redeemed himself, okay? I think he was the... He was the only... He's one of the two. Uh, I think he was the only Akodama to have ever redeemed himself for for all the crimes he's done. For all the crimes he has done. By by helping ordinary person and courier um, retrieve, retrieve the two kids. At ibabalik sana sa Kansai. But unfortunately... The Shinkansen got blown up okay, by the executioners. Now, ang tanong, buhay pa ba apat na to? Alright? That's what we should hope for in the finale. So, 
Ako Dama Drive Episode 11. Two thumbs up. I just cannot wait for uh, I just cannot wait for the finale of this anime. Grabe siguro magiging end. Although na tinaser pero hindi ako convinced ni. Eh. Okay? Hindi ako convinced dun sa sa teaser. Kasi bin black and white eh. Alright, so I, I absolutely have no idea how it is going to uh, how it, how it's going to go down. Alright? Kayo, you now have any any idea what how this how how the finale how the finale is going to end? How the anime is going to end? I don't think so. Maganda yung pagkakateaser, kaya tutok na lang tayo mga ka-lifestyle, alright? Higurashi 2020, episode 12. Wow, grabe yung ano dun. Grabe yung, grabe yung isang scene dun. Nag, nakipag-angasan si Keiichi sa isang matanda. <laughs> Even threatened to kill the old woman. <laughs> you know what? When it comes to smack talk scenes, okay? Animes. Animes, uh. Hindi na kuku ng mga animes dun, okay? They don't, um. They don't dwindle in number when it comes to smack talk scenes. But. Fuck. This is one of the, um. Well, this, this is one of the most hideous, okay? One of the most hideous smack talk scenes I have ever seen in an anime, okay? They were trying to get the Sonozaki family uh, help to approve the the support of the uh, of the village council. Now, in order for K, in order to, to in order for Keiichi to prove his point. He even threatened to kill the old woman, yung pinaka matriarch ng ng Sonozaki clan, yung lola ni lola ni Lamion at Son. Putang inang angasan niya, grave. Wow. Okay, but they just walked away. Uh, well, eventually the old woman, the old hag, as uh, as the twins would call her. Gave her approval. Okay, so may baki na sila ng village council ngayon to pressure child welfare services in helping out Satoko. Yeah, we all know what Satoko's case is. Alright? With Keiichi and, uh, and the twins as friends. So, talagang tumulong sila. Overall, um, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. But, they could have done more with the uh, with the ending. They could have done more with the ending. The pace, the flow, yeah, okay, unquestionable, okay, unquestionable. Talagang. Uh, you won't expect, you won't. I did not expect this, uh, this one to happen. Yung ang asa ng matanda at ni Keiichi, all right. Ah, medyo to mindi gabalagi mo ko tuli, okay? It was, it was hideous. It was so hideous to watch okay? and and to and to listen to. All right, that's how determined Keiichi was in helping out Satoko. Okay? You gotta hand, you gotta hand it to the young man, right? You gotta hand it to him. So it was a it was a good episode, but the producers could have done more with the ending. I know, I know, it's uh, it's just the. Uh, it's just a penultimate episode to a mini arc. Okay? I-, I never thought there would be a part five to this. <laughs> All right. So, Higurashi 2020 episode 12. Want to map? Mainly because of that of that smack talk scene. Okay. Siguro 60% of my decision came from that scene. 60% of my decision. Right, but oh, but overall it was a good episode, and again a um, a socially conscious one, which I am a sucker of. Okay, which I am a sucker of these days. But like uh, like what I said a while ago, they could have done more. Okay, they could have done more. Like um, not just walk away from the Sonozaki house with uh, with the old hags seal of approval. 
they could have um, they could have uh, ended the scene with uh, the morning after going back to child welfare services and nagrarali na nga sila dun eh picketing again okay pressuring uh, pressuring those guys to to actually help out Sakoto and not wait for a month to help her out right sana ganon but if it weren't for that smack talk scene I might have given it a lower rating. Okay, so uh, thank God for that. <laughs> thank God for that scene that I did not uh, that I did not give this episode a lower rating. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 12. On some up. Okay. But hey, do not follow KG's example here if you're uh, if you're if you're. Uh, if you're if you're younger than me, if you're a teenager, no, always respect your elders. You only disrespect them if you need to prove a point. Okay. So next episode, probably this is the conclusion of that mini arc, but uh, I gotta hand it. I gotta hand it to the producers of this reboot. This mini arc is for me. Yeah, for me it's the best so far. Cause socially conscious, yeah, and. It's quite relatable because it is happening. Okay, it is happening in real life. 